Radio.com. Here with my brother, the one, the only, the Terrence. What's up? What is your um stage name? My name, Terrence Davidson, the King. I King. thought it was uh something. Cut him, cut, cut. I don't know. It was something famous, but this man, you're right? You, he don't have what? I don't have a stage name. I go by my name so that people will know who I am. Right, so he can keep them checks coming, y'all. You he it's it's all for good good branding. You know, good branding. That's what I'm talking about. Anyway, look, this man has done everybody and anybody that you can imagine's hair. He has been blessing women all across the country, fixing them foreheads, lacing them baby hairs, putting them attachments and lace fronts in, beating them down. Let me ask you, okay, we got three questions. One, three. What makes good hair what makes good hair a great stylist all right you see how he gave me that that one word answer right right but uh, right but that that doesn't mean it, it has to have some volume it has to have volume it has to have color something right what for that good for good hair a great stylist makes great hair. I'm telling you. It's all in who got them hands in their head. They're taking care of your hair, keeping it healthy. Even if you wear a weave, if you wear short hair, whatever you want to wear, it's all in the person who's doing the hair makes great and good hair. Period. So tell me, what does the hair show mean to you? You've won the hair competition two years straight. It was, it was epic. Last year I was so in shock after seeing your performance. I was like, damn. So, uh... Well, I know you can't come back because you can't take the crown again just yet, just yet. But uh, what are some of the things that you look for when you're looking for um, your, your competitors? And, and what, what does the hair show mean to you? To me, the hair show means a lot because this is where, I, where it all began for Terrence Davidson. I used to compete way back in the day when I first started doing hair. It just allowed me to win around from 2009 all the way to 2017. I just been winning. But you know, we always gotta start off losing. Like, you gotta lose to win. I lost so many times before I won. And Brunner Brothers is basically the largest urban hair company that opened the doors for a lot of people in our urban community that they don't understand. A lot of people don't get that part. And that's why I'm still here with Brunner Brothers. And I respect and I appreciate them asking me to host instead of compete. Because I can't compete no more because I want too much, but I appreciate hosting. Lastly, um, what, is, what, what, what can we expect from you and what are some of the things that you're working on? Um, it's a few things. I'm opening up a new uh, Minka Moore TD Extension Center in Marietta uh, where eight private rooms for people to come get their hair done, buy their hair, buy your wigs, whatever you want to do. And I got my Legion of Glam. We're working on some big projects right now. Can't say what they are because then people will start copying your shit. So I'll wait until we do it and you'll see it. But we do have a tour coming up and a lot of more things. Well, congratulations. You keep up all the success. Yo, and when I, when I, when I decide I'm going to go ahead and add me some attachments in, you know who's going to put them in? Yeah. Will it be me? Right. You know. Will it be me? Right. <laughs> Have me some in, have me some in. You know, I be needing a little, you know, I might need a little fro or something, you know. I can do it. Whenever you're ready, let me know. Right. We're here 
you were one of the legendary cutters. Can you explain to us did it, how, 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 did, how was today to you? Was it a good day? I mean, it's always a great day to be alive and be living. I mean, yeah, and I got my friend Derek J here. So, of course, this is family. 20 years of friendship and more doing the same thing, getting here slayed. <laughs> Yo, so this team right here was disqualified, um, but they allowed them to compete. So um, one of the team people's boobs fell out, and so they're all here. They celebrated because they're like, we worked hard. We're here with one of the contestants. How did today make you feel? And um, what is one of the dopest things that you found after being a part of the show? Oh man, tonight was a roller coaster. I'm glad they let us compete. Um, believe in God, trust in God, everything will work out. Good luck to all the, everybody that competed. Can't wait to see who wins. Now, how long did it take them to do your hair? On stage or the whole process? Um, I would say, on stage plus the um, backstage, probably about 30, 40 minutes. Wow, and do you know how they came up with the creation or what does it stand for? Um, I don't know what or who inspired Kevin, but this was all his idea. The hair, the ensemble, the model. Y'all see the shows. Everything is put together. They did that here. Everything is done here. Right, oh, all hair. Look at that. Everything is mine except for this braid. Lesson them one, one cut at a time. Thank you so much. What's your name? My name's Maria. Yes, go ahead and get to them, Maria. Hey. Okay, we here with my girl. She just took home, uh, what is it, Professional Hairstylist Award. Uh, great for recognition for your commitment and support to the Bronner Brother International Beauty Show. You see it, the one, the only, Miss Coach. Hey, hey, hey. It feels great to receive the award. I've been doing hair for 25 years, and so I've been supporting Bronner Brothers my entire career. So after 25 years, it feels really good to finally, you know, get appreciated. Um, and what makes good hair, the difference between good hair and bad hair, I would say bad hair will be a style that doesn't fit the person's face or personality. And gray hair always complements the person's style and personality. If you want to tell um, a new hairdresser some words of encouragement, what would you tell them? Ooh, what I would tell a new hairdresser, um, first of all, I would say that you know, let this be your passion. Don't do this just for money. Uh, let your work speak for itself. Be a walking billboard of what you're representing. And always be persistent, dedicated, and consistent. 
All right, look, that's what it's all about, consistency, y'all. Y'all see her with that award, looking blessed. You see that body on fleek. Show them shoes, show them shoes. Right, oh, 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 yeah, she blessing us one cut at a time, right? Uh. Yeah.
just killed it. Edwards, you but Yancey Edwards, Gauthier Salon, and the whole team, and that's that. Look, the hair looks good. What, what makes good hair? What makes good hair? What? Me. What? Me. That's okay. <laughs> Expect Star, September 26th on Fox, darling. With, the, with my brother, the one, the only, Derek J. Yo, how did it feel, and what exactly just took place on stage? Because I don't know what happened. I'm sitting there in shock. Like, I never, I'm like, did you just cut that woman's head off? <laughs> in like two minutes, everything is gone, y'all. She, Derek gave her a full cut. What is it? Cut, and curl, and press. Everything is looking amazing. Derek, explain to the people what just happened. Please, please. Well, what just happened is that Kiss Cutters brought me out of retirement. I ain't been on the Brunner Brothers stage in 10 years. That's from one. Um, but, you know, we want to do something fun, so we gave this whole fifth element moment, you know, and I want to give a little short crop blue cut going on. So, you know, that's what we did right here. It's four, it was four It was four companies competing. It was Kiss Colors, Andis, Ashanti, and Babyliss. Um, and I was with Kiss Colors. Yep. Now it's hot, Freddie. Oh, I know. Last question. Oh yes. <laughs> what makes good hair? What makes good hair? Um, that's a good question. You know, there's a lot of things that can make it. I'd be here explaining it all day long. I know what makes bad hair: horrible hairdressers. That's what makes bad hair. So, <laughs> so there we go. Anything you want to tell a hairdresser, a hairstylist that's starting out? You know, some words of encouragement. Oh, it's, a, it's a hard game to be in. Don't give up. Um, stay focused. Stay motivated. Um, know what you want to do and just stay strong at it. These trophies right here are what every hairdresser dreams of. The win.